Iris. Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? Factor. But there was something else, something more peculiar. Iris's body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But 
we were. Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? We saved her. We saved her in So Somnia. Date, think logically. What occurs in dreams does not affect reality. And parallel worlds? That is even less possible. So if that's the case... What I saw on Sunday must have been a hallucination. It was a dream. No, Date. You are overthinking it. You saw the corpse. But Iris was alive. Which means... You mean... You've got it. Forcibly removed. It was the left eye for Shoko. is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. How? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean, after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive! Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then? Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least ten years. Ten years? She was killed more than ten years ago? Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night, 
We saw so here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnia. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than ten years ago. I believe that is the case. Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... So Sejima. Never to show your face here again. <laughs> 